Hi, I'm Toshi Maeda, and welcome back to J Stories, where ideas and technology from Japan help solve global social and environmental problems. Here's a quick look at this week's J Stories. A Japanese startup is working on a high tech fabric that Spider Man would love. Biomaterial developer Spy Burr, which started its research with artificial spider silk, has developed an artificial protein fiber called Brood Protein. The name comes from the fermentation of sugars and microbes used during the material's production process. The fabric has many uses, not just clothing, but also artificial leather and fur. It can even be used for car door panels and seats. No petroleum is needed to make the fabric and it's highly biodegradable. The Yamagata based startup says it's also easier to reuse and recycle than other fabrics. Since the Russian invasion, millions of Ukrainian children have become displaced. A Japanese NGO is working with other organizations to enable some of those children to continue their education. It has helped set up a computer room in a refugee center in Moldova. Noise and lack of privacy in cramped refugee centers often makes study a challenge. But the room, set up inside a local university, has 20 PCs and internet access and offers an environment where children can concentrate on online lessons from teachers in their home country. There are pasta sheets for making lasagna and seaweed sheets for making sushi rolls, even sheets of pastry for pies. But have you heard of vegetable sheets? These 0.1 mm thick sheets are made from vegetables that are perfectly good to eat, but don't meet supermarket cosmetic standards. Such produce makes up 30% of all vegetables grown globally. The sheets can also be stored for up to two years, so are less likely to go bad before being eaten. The sheets quickly soften up in warm water, so are great for children who don't like raw vegetables or for people such as the elderly who struggle with food that's difficult to chew. The manufacturer of these veggie sheets hopes to soon set up new production bases in Japan and Indonesia to supply major domestic and international food retailers. That's all for this week from JStories. Please visit our website at jstories.media for more details on these stories. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more solutions and inspirations from Japan.